Right, let's get you some introductions. Let's book some meetings for you and get you in front of some incredible people. The one piece of insight that I want to give you is never ever be scared to ask for an introduction. People love giving referrals. So never be scared to ask for an introduction. Too many people are nervous. They're worried about asking for a referral. Do not be nervous. Do you want to build your business or not? You've got to get over that hurdle. Okay, so I'm going to show you how the many different ways of getting introductions through MMT. And I'm going to start by doing it on a Google search for South African safaris because I'm South African and I want you to think about beautiful Africa when you go through this. Okay, so you're on this Google search at the moment. As you know, you can do it from any web page in the world. I want you to click on the little icon, my most trusted icon, and it's going to take you to uh, your dashboard. Right, now there's a few different ways of being able to request introductions. My favorite way is by using the community activity page. Now, in order for the community activity page to really come alive, you need to have quite a few trusted connections. That's why I suggested that you add at least trust, uh, 20 trusted connections to begin with. Also, I'm going to show you how to get introduced to super connectors who have got really, really big networks because they will open their networks up to you. If they know you and trust you and build a relationship with you, boy, you can get in front of some incredible people that you will never, ever be able to get in front of if you use cold outreach because cold outreach has got to come to an end. It's too irritating for too many people. So this community activity shows me in the last few minutes, in the last half an hour, hour, et cetera, what my um, various uh, community have been up to. So Nancy's just attained a super connector status. Yay, I can click the congratulate Nancy um, a button if I want to as well. Um, uh, I can see Jennifer um, added Cheryl, right? So my friend Jennifer, who I know, added Cheryl, who I don't know. Uh, Sid, who I know, added this lady, Yulali, who I don't know. Um, and you can see, and you can see the scores next to their names. Do you see that? And what it's done is you can see there's one score that stands out, right? David McFarland introduced Dr. DC Baker to Phil Goodard. Good heart. I don't know Dr. JC Baker, but if I move my mouse over eight out of 10, it's telling me that I need to meet Dr. JC Baker. And the reason for that is I want to meet people who run business communities. That's my number one priority. People that run business networking groups, business clubs, masterminds, anyone that brings businesses together in a community. And the AI is telling me that Dr. JC Baker is one of these people. So I'm going, yes, I would like that meeting, please. I click on the little request and introduction button. And I'm going to give a reason as to why I want David to introduce me. So this is important. I will never ask to meet Dr. JC Baker. And I'd never say to my friend David, hey, David, please introduce me to Dr. JC Baker because I'm going to sell him the biggest insurance policy he's ever seen in his life. It doesn't work like that. Once again, use words like win-win synergies. I think there's a, he runs a business network. I think we can help each other grow. I think we can help each other succeed. There's a lot we can do for each other. So when you ask for an introduction to a specific person that you want to meet, use words that resonate with them as well as you. Don't be too salesy. Okay, so that's how you give uh, an introduction. I'm going to cancel this for now because I'm going to go, I'm going to hop on to LinkedIn because I want to show you other ways of being able to request an introduction as well. One of the ways of doing it, as I mentioned before, is by going to the LinkedIn profile of somebody that you don't know. Now, uh, Gemma, I do know. And um, if I didn't know her, then this little button over here would turn into a request an introduction button. So instead of me reaching out cold to Gemma, I will ask one of the people that know her and trust her, who I also know and her and trust, to make that introduction. And you do that by clicking this little handshake icon. Okay. But now I do know Gemma. And I want to look deeper into Gemma's network. All right. Because she's got a big network. She's got 486 trusted connections. So Gemma's a really, really good person to get to know. And she's our international brand ambassador, which is why she's got such a big network. Okay, so now what I do is I use this little eye icon. I can click this eye icon over here or this one over here. I click on it and what it's doing is it's taking me to the search. Now I'm going to do a whole video just on the advanced search because it's a really good idea to learn how the advanced search works 
And if you're a premium user, you can use MatchMe. MatchMe does a search for you. It's unbelievable. It uses AI to go out and find people for you to meet within your network. So MatchMe is not available for, for the basic users, but it's available as a premium option. So let's go and have a look now. Now it's showing me second degree connections. All right. And it's going to show me specifically who Gemma Ostelow's trusted connections are. Okay, so let's go and have a look. So it's scoring them out of 10 for me. So if you're a premium user, it'll score them out of 10. Otherwise, you'll have to manually look through them. And you can see who do you want to meet? Who does Gemma know that you want to meet? So let's say I want to meet Steve Plummer. I can click the request an introduction button. Does the same thing as I showed you before. And I can request an introduction from Luke Hawley or Gemma or Darren. Three people that I know and trust know and trust Steve. Do you see how amazing it is to get a meeting with Steve? I can ask any of three different people to actually request that introduction. But Gemma's got a huge database. She's got a huge network of 485. Let's use the search, the advanced search, to refine it. So let's say I'm going to look for accountant. So I'm going to type job title. I'm going to type job title accountant. And now I'm going to search. Now it's going to refine it to all Gemma's contacts who are accountants. They're accountant, accountant, accountant. So if I want to meet accountants, I can just go request introduction, request introduction, scroll down, request introduction, and I can just meet accountants left, right, and center because I'm getting the introduction from somebody I know and trust. It's so incredibly powerful if I can get over the mental hurdle of not being scared to ask for an introduction. And the way to ask for an introduction is talk about things like win-win, talk about synergies, that sort of thing. So I can also not just search Gemma's trusted connections, which I'm searching for now. If I reset the search, it's now going to search my entire second degree. In other words, it's taken my trusted connections and it's searching all the trusted connections they have to see, let's type an accountant, to see what accountants I can meet. And it'll run that search for me. And there they are. Now I've got tons of them. I don't know Lindsay, but I know Matt. I don't know Scott, but I know Matt. Uh, Matt knows a lot of them. I know Prudence. I don't know Prudence, but I know Brian. I don't know Willem, but I know Rian. So I can just click request introduction, request introduction, request introduction. It is limited to a couple per month unless you're on the premium uh, package, but you will be able to make introductions. That's how simple it is. This is the number one way by far of getting in front of your target audience. Ask for an introduction, ask for a referral. And as you ask for referrals, it gives you in inverted commas credits or points that will help you work your way up the trustometer and get you to trusted advocate and super connector. Remember, you want to hit super connector. So these are some of the ways that you can use to, to um, find matches for you. Later, I'm actually going to show you how to use MatchMe and how to actually use the AI to actually find it in the background to save you a mountain of time to actually find those people that you want to meet. The last way of doing it, and I've already shown you this before, so I won't go into too much detail, is if you go onto a Zoom meeting, and it's not just Zoom. It's other, we are rolling out across other meetings, Teams and all the other meeting platforms as well. Um, but I'm just using Zoom as an example. Another way of doing it is if you're on a Zoom meeting, it's going to show you who else is on that Zoom meeting and you will then be able to find trusted connections. There's nobody on this meeting right now, but this just gives you an example. So it's going to find live on that Zoom meeting people for you to get an introduction to and using the AI scoring that you set up within Match Me within this button over here to find you those introductions. It's unbelievable. It's going to change your business forever. So start requesting those introductions using MMT.